Hey there, Mushroom Troopers here. Um, we're in the Caurel, Galicia. Um, it is a mountain that is about two hours away from Pontevedra. It's been a while since we posted the last, the last video. And we're here on a family trip for the whole weekend. This is my cousin Carlos. It's the first time nice we get him on you. camera. Um, the Caurel is called Caurel because of the Aurum. Aurum is gold in Latin. The Romans used to come here and they used to get tons and tons of aurum, gold, to take them to the south of Spain. Carlos is now going to talk about all the materials, the minerals in the water. Yeah, well, first of all, can we take a look at all these trees? As we can see, they are all totally straight. And that's because this is a very non-lighting zone, so they are trying to search for light to make the photosynthesis. Then, can we get a little bit closer to the river? So we can see all the floor is totally brown. That's because, look at the waterfall. All the water makes the erosion of the rock. So it all comes down and this is a very rich um, iron brown. Yes, as I said before, the Romans came here for gold and iron. As we can see, and Carlos just mentioned, the sediments from the erosion of the waterfall, what they do is the sediments get carried away and they get laid over here. What that means is you get this slight orange color if you want. We can get... This is slate. It is the main stone of this area. Mushroom troopers here. We are still in the Caurel and we have just arrived and had lunch in a chestnut forest. These chestnut forests are about 1000 to 1200 years old. We have this beautiful tree that we have captured the image of a space. As you can see, these look like the lips, the nose, and the two eyes. We have also found a mushroom. If you come closer, so this is the liver mushroom. As we can see, it's the same shape of a liver. Um, when you take this away from the tree um, and it has no irrigation on its inside you can see that the colour it goes darker and darker we think one is because of the irrigation that's the scientific explanation but the other one is that it's sad that it's been taken away from the tree you can see that the symbiotic relation between them has come to an end and they are both sad and they're affected by it. So we, are, we were just leaving when we found this. This is a Boletus sedulis. Normally they grow in humid places with a lot of shadow. And this one is in probably one of the driest places of this chestnut forest. That's why we had to think about what species it was. Um, and we have concluded that it's a Boletus sedulis. It is a beautiful small specimen. We can also tell by the colour and shape 
of the inside. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.